Hey Leo, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel here coming at you with a June 2021 horoscope video. Um, we're going to look into the energies for what you may have coming up. Um, always remember that tower readings do not predict the future. They just talk about the energy surrounding um, the situations that you have, guys have going on and what it could lead to should you stay on that path, okay? Because people could watch something and be like, oh, this is what I have coming up in the future and go ahead and change it. We all have free will so we can do what we want to do, all right? So just remember that. Um, check the description box down below for all of my links and websites and Instagrams and Facebooks and uh, ways that you can donate and love tokens and all that other good stuff down there okay all right let me get my coffee all right let's go so Leo what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do love money career and then we're gonna get advice from the angels the guides and some self-care advice for you for June 2021 all right your loving angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, and totems, I ask that you clarify the messages from you through me. Cover me with the whitest light from the highest vibration as I give them to the sign of Leo. So Leo, for June 2021 in love, we have death and rebirth. We have five of wands. So there's some sort of transformation going out of a, um, out of a, a very uh, troublesome situation. Um, there's a little bit of stability, a lot of conflict. Um, and I'm feeling like you guys are going to be taking steps to transform out of that situation or to um, rebirth yourself out of that situation, going towards your nine of cups, towards your wish fulfillment. OK, so that's what you guys are aiming to achieve in June 2021. You're going to be taking the steps to do that, um, starting off with the death of this old um, cycle in love. I'm feeling like you guys may be um, either ending um, some sort of behaviors or actions, you know, that you may have seen to be you know, not, not so stable. <laughs> um, it, you know, it kind of rocked the boat a little bit as far as love goes and you just want to heal and, and be better and do better. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that, um, someone will break up and then you'll go off and find someone else. You know, this could be a death and rebirth within a relationship, you know, some, this could be internal conflict or external conflict. So always remember these are general. So just put it in the situation as you will. But all I'm saying is there will be some sort of death transformation and rebirth of, um, of, of your love life um, there will be a lot of changes going on don't fight the change I'm feeling like it's staying because um, that's what's going to bring you your stability and your wish fulfillment and at the bottom of the deck we do have the lovers here so the lovers is uh, Gemini I believe energy all right so there you go a lot of death and rebirth with love with the lovers okay and the lovers could be family friend all that stuff um, you know co-worker whoever it is that you love um, I don't have a bunch of other cards out here to clarify whether or not it is a counterpart or if it's an actual, you know, someone else that you love, but you know, y'all know y'all situation. <laughs> okay. So money and career. I'm also getting that what, what once was like a very loving situation. Um, there have been a lot of recent, you know, turmoil changes. Um, conflict and stability going on within there and I think that you're just trying to get back to um, rebirth yourself back into this happiness all right so for career and money we have ten of emotions Ooh, that is Pisces energy that's ten of cups and then we have four of voices so that's four of swords and nine of voices four of swords is libra energy and nine of swords is gemini energy so you or your person could have any of that in their chart or someone in your energetic field or that you work with um could have that in their chart so let's see here hmm so you you really really loving your career and what you're doing um you or either or you're trying to get into a place where you um, are going to a career that's more fit for you. I'm seeing that you're coming out of a career where it was just like 
really stressful, um, anxiety written, or you could still be in this career. It's like um, nine of voices is nine of swords. So that's like, you know, the person in traditional deck, they're sitting there with their hands in their head and they can't sleep and having nightmares, just anxiety, you know, and this could be your current career, but I'm seeing in June um, with this four of voices, four of voices is recovery after heartbreak. So maybe some of you have to um, break away from this career and recover 10 of emotions and go ahead and, and go on, um, in that cycle and renew yourself in something look that's spilling over into death and rebirth so like i said this could be the love of a career or a partner a business partner or whatever that you have and it just wasn't working out but whatever it is you are going to rebirth yourself or renew yourself into a whole nother cycle with career and as far as that goes and just go on and doing something that you love um and care about look page of inspiration so you guys are going to be getting um, messages of new inspiration you know downloads maybe messages of new inspiration or maybe someone will message you and you know that's a more fitting path for a career that you want to go down or maybe it's something that you do that is creative and you start to get more customers or something like that you know what i mean so you guys are going to be getting a lot of inspiration coming in a lot of ideas um 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 creativity and you're going to be taking action like actively going towards this 10 of cups here this 10 of emotion when it comes to your career because you're tired of having to recover every night when you come home you have a high stress job that type of thing um in june so in june you guys are definitely going to be thinking about taking action towards um going towards a career path that you love versus a career path that is like literally breaking you down and kind of it could be making you sick with this four of voices because like i said four of voices is about recovering um after a heartbreak really but um you know after something that's just hurtful and you know stress puts pains in our body <laughs> okay so in general We got Seven of Swords here, so that's Gem uh, Aquarius, I'm sorry. I was about to say Gemini. Can we get two more? Okay, we got the Star. I'm feeling like so far is saying take the time out to recover in June. Um, you've got a lot of changes coming up. Um, as far as career and love goes and you know make sure that you are um, taking time out for yourself um, in between all of this that you are healing here with the star card seven of swords means taking something so like I said taking time out um, four of wands maybe take time out and go see family okay um, you may be going to um, or planning something you know but all I'm I'm seeing here is like um, taking the time out to heal, rebuild your foundation, um, figure out what stability means for you. We got the Four of Wands here, Leo, in Aries reading, but we got it in the same position and we got it reversed. So I'm not sure if this means that you, Leo, may need to, um, you're kind of trying to sneak back in someone's life or maybe someone will try to sneak back into your life to maybe heal or recover a family dynamic and they may have Aries heavy in their chart but it was in the same exact position so I'm seeing here that you are willing to heal and um, if you if you have Aries in your chart or if you don't if you're a cross watcher you can go and watch that video as well but I'm just seeing that there's a correlation with it being in the same exact position um, as far as general and health goes and um, they also had the three of cups which is like a recovery card and trying to repair recover here right here health you know make it healthy again but you know like I said with them I'm seeing that they're not really trying to do that right now they have a lot going on so you Leo um, don't take that into consideration if you don't know a Aries or if that doesn't fit your situation okay this is my this might only resonate with a few but um, as far as the other Leos go I'm seeing you guys are just like I said, healing yourself and home could be your home, your body. Okay, taking time out to recover, heal your body. Um, like I said, you may have been hurt on at work and you're recovering or looking for something different. But either way, there's a lot of changes you guys have coming up. Look, and we got the lovers again. So like I did healing and recovering and changes and things like that could be from a lover situation, a family situation, a loved one, someone that you love. But either way... 
you know, you guys are going to be taking some time out in June to really think about some things and try to heal and recover and transform yourselves um, after a lot of um, changes and hurt and conflict, you know, as far as work goes and love goes and things like that. So do we have any advice from the angels for Leo? Advice from the angels for Leo. Don't stop. Aries got the same thing, like literally the same exact, <laughs> the same exact card. Aries got the same thing with the angels. Don't stop. So whatever it is that you're doing, don't stop. There is big change coming for you. I feel like the angels are saying, you know, push through, push through the pain, um, get, get to the part where you are at the healing or at the recovery because it is coming up. You know, I know things might not seem that way now, but these are June 2021 horoscopes. So if you are on this path, you are on the path to recovery, to renewal, to change, to transformation, to ultimate happiness with this nine of cups here. So you guys are on the right path and the angels are trying to tell you, do not stop what you're doing because you're doing what you need to be doing. Okay. Just keep moving. If that means you need to change, you know, you know, change where you live because four of wands could also mean moving. You know, if you need to change where you live and change your career or you know, just switch up how you do things, if that's how you do. But there's a lot of change coming for you. And they're saying don't stop because you're on the right path. Okay. Messages from the guides for Leo. Never judge another, okay? Never judge another. Never judge someone for their position in the... Um, you know, in the walk of life that they're in, don't judge people for um, what stage they are in their spirituality, you know, whether they're open or not, you might come across some people who just aren't open to change, who just aren't open to um, understanding what it is that you um, have going on or what it is that you have to do. Um, But never judge another in, in, in a sense. Like continue to do what you're doing. But don't judge people who aren't moving on with you. Don't judge people who want to remain stagnant. That's their life and that's their growth. As long as you remain on the right path, you know, just keep moving. All right. What do we have for self-care as far as Leo goes? Self-care in June 2021. Self-care. Gratitude. Soak in a bath. Okay, so this June, I'm feeling like it's saying, you know, either on the new moon or full moon, go ahead and do you a spiritual bath. You see, she's got her crystals right there. She's got her candles going with a different color. Look at this. What did I say? Moon. I just saw that <laughs> the moon. So during one of the, the moon phases, the, the large moon phases, go ahead, take you a little spiritual bath. All right. Um, heal yourself. That's what it's saying, because like I said, the, the running theme for you, Leo, is healing. You guys need to heal your heart you need healing in love you need healing you know from your career you need healing in your home you guys just just don't stop that's what they're saying don't stop continue to heal continue to do what you got to do um, um change is coming there is a rebirth that's coming and you know after death and rebirth comes the star it comes healing so you guys should be, this is your june 2021 all right, Leo. So if nobody has told you today, I'm going to tell you I love you. Peace.